you are just a few days away from witnessing one of the most mysterious and unpredictable meteor showers of the year, the Draconids. Active from October 6th to 10th, this year's peak will arrive on the night of October 8th, 2025. But before you grab your blanket and head outside, there's one catch. A nearly full moon on October 6th and 7th will brighten the night sky, making it much harder to spot the faint meteors that define this shower. Still, for sky watchers, even a few shooting stars from Draco the Dragon are worth the effort. The Draconid meteor shower gets its name from the constellation Draco the Dragon, which coils its way through the northern sky. Unlike most meteor showers that are best seen after midnight, the Draconids are unique. They're an early evening show. Just after sunset, when darkness begins to fall, you might see streaks of light shooting out from the dragon's head. That's what makes this event so special. The story behind the Draconids starts with Comet 21P. This icy visitor was first discovered in 1900. The comet completes one full orbit every 6.6 .6 years. Each time it swings close to the sun, it leaves behind a dusty trail of ice, rock, and tiny particles. When Earth passes through this debris field each October, those tiny bits burn up in our atmosphere, and that's what we see as the Draconid meteor shower. In most years, the Draconids are calm, producing maybe 5 to 20 meteors per hour. But history tells a different story for certain years. Back in 1933 and again in 1946, the Draconids turned into full-blown meteor storms with thousands of meteors flashing across the sky every hour. More recently, in 2011, there was another brief burst of activity that lit up the skies over parts of Europe and Asia. The tricky part is, no one can ever predict exactly when or if such an outburst will happen again. That unpredictability is part of their charm. This year though, the bright moonlight will make things challenging. The full moon will wash out much of the faint activity, so only the brighter meteors might be visible. Still, if you're patient, you could catch a few impressive fireballs, larger meteors that glow brightly enough to be seen even through the moonlight. For the best viewing experience, try to find a location far from city lights. You don't need a telescope or binoculars, in fact, they'll limit your view. Just lie back, relax, and give your eyes about 30 minutes to adjust to the darkness. Look generally toward the northern sky, near the constellation Draco. Its head sits between the Big Dipper and Little Dipper, and that's roughly where the meteors seem to radiate from. Draco might not be the easiest constellation to spot, but it's one of the largest in the northern sky. Its name comes from the Latin word for dragon, and in ancient times, one of its stars, Thuban, even served as the North Star. If you live in the Northern Hemisphere, you'll have the best chance to see the Draconids. The shower isn't as visible from southern regions, but observers across North America, Europe, and Asia can all try their luck. Some forecasts even suggest that those in Asia and the Western Pacific could see bursts of up to 400 meteors per hour, though again, that's far from guaranteed. So as October 8th approaches, step outside after sunset, take a moment away from screens and city lights, and look up. You may see only a few streaks of light across the sky, or you might be lucky enough to witness a brief outburst from the dragon itself.